Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you a cool tool called Ignite VM. Ignite VM can be installed by installing an MSI and I've already installed the software on my vCenter server and it comes as an, uh, as an MSI and a nice PDF with a, a user guide and eventually when the software is installed it will run uh, in your browser so you have to open a special URL. It can be installed on another host, but I installed it on my vCenter server. And it can be used to monitor SQL, Oracle, DB2 databases running on a virtualized environment from VMware. So the first thing you have to do is register uh, all the databases you are running, all the instances. And then you have to register your uh, vCenter server. And uh, in my current environment, I'm running a separate SQL 2008 server. And I'm also using the built-in uh, SQL server, which comes after installing Site Recovery Manager. And after adding those uh, SQL servers, you are able to monitor not only the resources of both machines, but also uh, you can see how much time a query takes to execute and you can easily pick slow queries from those hosts and you are able to break down uh, the latency so if you have a query that uh, will cost you uh, say 10 seconds then you can see which part is responsible from disk from CPU from memory from the network so all the aspects that are responsible for for uh, slow queries can be viewed with this tool so let's take a look at SQL 2008 I'm not running the software long enough to see uh, uh, the VM layers, but I'm I will give you a, a show at current. So when we look at current, we can see uh, uh, all the queries that are fired. And you can see that queries that take a lot of time uh, are big and queries that don't take so much time are a bit smaller. And when you select a query, you can see uh, which components are responsible uh, and why this query took so long. So uh, first the weights, uh, how, how many time uh, uh, did the query take to execute? And also uh, the disk latency that was involved, the memory latency, the programs and the databases. And it can be, there can be a situation where your vSphere environment is responsible for uh, slow queries and when I'm going to resources I can easily monitor what's happening to the memory of my host I can see uh, the host memory uses of the uh, whole ESX host and I can also see things like uh, ballooning and there is ballooning activity right now and I can see uh, if there is swapping or that some uh, that, that may be a root cause for queries that are very slow. I can also see disk performance. So disk performance will not only show you the disk performance of the virtual machine it's itself, so the latency on the VMDK file, but also the latency on the data source. And you see a quite high latency right here. So the slow SQL queries can also be caused by uh, uh, not enough IOPS. There's another part which can uh, be responsible is the disk device and here comes the data store into play. I'm using local SATA drives so uh, you see some pretty high uh, latencies right here. What I did was I powered on all the virtual machines on my ESX host so there was a boot storm and a lot of virtual machines needed a lot of memory and CPU and disk so that's the reason why you see uh, so many uh, uh, peak values in my uh, in my uh, environment. Last but not least, networks. Networking is also very important. You can see the latency on networking and there's also a, a nice ping of round trip which will monitor your the, the liveness of your uh, of your SQL servers. You can see how many sessions are uh, connected to your SQL servers and you can also see if your SQL servers uh, are license compliant because if you have bought an SQL server with a certain amount of connection then you can see if the number of connections is not exceeded but the most important part is that you can enable database administrators and you can easily show them both the the, the virtual uh, the virtual site the virtual resources 
that are available but they can also look into their own queries and um, they will they will they, they will show all the, the the queries are also shown in text so if a query is not uh, fast enough uh, it will show you the amount of seconds but also uh, the SQL statement if available and then you can see why the query is so slow so in this case we have a select uh, current users job from uh, uh, from a job history blah 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 and um, in most cases there are also texts that indicate that you should rewrite the query or do something else so this was a quick overview of Ignite VM uh, I hope you like it. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye-bye.